Paleontology is the science that is the study of prehistoric life from their fossilized remains. Also included under paleontology is the history of the Earth, the organisms found in it, and their supposed evolution. There are several fields within paleontology. Micropaleontology, which is the study of microscopic fossils in general. Paleobotany, which is the study of fossil plants. Palynology, which is the study of pollen and spores, both living and fossil. Invertebrate paleontology, which is the study of invertebrate animal fossils. Vertebrate paleontology, which is the study of fossil vertebrates. Human paleontology, which is also known as paleoanthropology, is the study of prehistoric human and hominid fossils. Taphonomy, which is the study of the decay, preservation, and formation of fossils. Technology, which is the study of fossil tracks, trails, and footprints. Paleoecology, which is the study of the ecology and climate of the past based on fossils and other means. The following are the main assumptions of establishing paleontology. Absolute naturalism, which allows only totally natural causes to be considered for everything and refuses any consideration of supernatural causes. Based on this, they also assume that the Bible is wrong. This is because the biblical account has supernatural causes contrary to the dictates of absolute naturalism. The biblical account also gives a view of Earth history contrary to that of establishment paleontology. So to hold to the establishment paleontology view of history, you have to assume that the Bible is wrong. It also assumes uniform material geology, which is the basis for how the rocks and the fossils found within them are interpreted. However, if the principles of uniform material geology are wrong, then most of the interpretations of establishment paleontology are also wrong. It further assumes the accuracy of the geologic time scale. This is critical since fossils are categorized based on this time scale, such that if instead most of the fossils were buried in a single event, then most of the interpretations of the seven paleontology would be wrong. Another assumption is that the presence of specific fossils in rock indicates when they lived and when extinct. This is the basis for an evolutionary interpretation of fossils, because if they all lived at the same time, then this interpretation is wrong. And by the way, living fossils show this assumption to be an error. Finally, they assume micro to man biological evolution. This is evident since one of the main goals is looking for evolutionary connections. Fossils are the remains of living things buried and found in rock. Some fossils are just imprints of the organism left in rock. Most often, these are the fossils of invertebrates and plants. And some are the actual mineralized remains of organisms. These are most often the fossils of vertebrates. This is a brachiopod fossil found in Ringgold, Georgia. This is a fern imprint on slate that is found in East Pennsylvania. This is a trilobite fossil found in Utah. This is a fossil fish from the Green River Formation in Wyoming. Interpreting fossils involves a combination of biology and geology. They are needed to show the type of organism that left the fossil and how it relates to other organisms. The problem is that this makes the interpretation of fossils highly dependent on the theory of both biology and geology. As a result, any theoretical errors in biology and geology can lead to errors in fossil interpretation. In conclusion, by studying fossils, paleontology has produced many interesting results. However, like all historical sciences, the accuracy of those results are highly dependent upon the theories used to produce them. Paleontology is highly dependent upon two other fields of science in the accuracy of their theory, that is, geology and biology. Furthermore, paleontology requires making assumptions about the past, which are based in philosophy rather than science. And examining the same fossils and rocks with a different set of philosophical assumptions will produce different interpretations.